Oh, tremendous. Uh, I, I've had lots of opportunity to drive around uh, Bucharest, um, but not to slowly walk and, and learn about the, the history associated with all these uh, fantastic buildings in the center of the city. You've seen our beggars, our garbage cans, with bad and good. So you think it's a beautiful city? I do. Um, I don't want to criticize my own country, but if you were to visit Washington, you would see many, unfortunately, you would see many homeless uh, people in our capital city. And, and sometimes uh, we could improve on, on how we keep our uh, uh, cities beautiful. So what I've seen uh, in Bucharest uh, so far has been very impressive. What about the traffic? You said uh, you've been driving a little bit? Yeah, the traffic is <laughs> can be really intense at times. Uh, uh, but um, I'm, I'm fortunate uh, to have uh, a, a driver that's able to get around the city and knows the back roads and uh, uh, we manage. In, uh, in your speech uh, you said that in order to attract more tourists we should uh, improve our infrastructure, highways and mm -hmm. roads. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Did you have the, have the chance to uh, travel uh, somewhere else? To no, but I will very soon. Um, in, next month I'm going to uh, uh, drive to Craiova, to Timisoara, and then back to uh, Cebu and Brasov. So I'll have an opportunity to uh, to visit a greater part of, of Romania and to experience firsthand uh, the road infrastructure. But you heard that we. Uh, I do have, not have, I highways. have, I have, and and I've also seen the statistics that the that the number of kilometers of four-lane highway is. Uh, uh, still very, very small compared to other European Union countries, in including uh, Romania's neighbors. Why do you think that's so? Well, R Romania is, is uh, to a large extent, uh, still uh, developing, recovering from uh, the dictatorship that it, it uh, lived under for such a long time after World War II. It's only been 25, 26 years since the uh, revolution. Uh, Romania is receiving uh, a good deal of, of assistance from the European Union, uh, structural funds that uh, will allow it over time to improve its infrastructure. It, it also, however, in order to use those funds, has to uh, develop the, the administrative capacity, the, the skilled uh, public service, uh, the talented, merit-based public service in order to uh, best and most efficiently use the resources that's available to Romania. And, of course, I have to uh, congratulate Romania for its fight against corruption. Uh, because that corruption is, is, is theft of public resources that's available to Romania. Uh, if that corruption hadn't occurred, those resources uh, perhaps could have gone to building the highway system faster. Because you spoke about corruption, if I may, can you comment the vote that was given yesterday in uh, the Chamber of Deputies? The prosecutor's uh, requests uh, for a former uh, minister were denied for uh, retention and uh, arresting. The deputies denied those uh, prosecutors. Uh, they denied the, the um, detention, but the, the retention, yes. yes. They uh, approved the retention and prosecute, prosecuting of the... Yeah, uh, um, our, our position has always been uh, to uh, not to comment on, on individual cases, but always to encourage that the Romanian legislators, um, uh, as well as other senior officials in the Romanian government, respect the independence of the Romanian judiciary and support uh, the prosecution of... of uh, potential acts of, of public corruption. In your speech you also mentioned the fact that we uh, kind of lack a brand for tourism. Uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit and uh, what do you think from your first impressions that uh, the brand should be based on? Well, um, as I mentioned, uh, just preparing for my service here in, in Bucharest, I, I just had the sense that uh, Romania could do a, a better job, either the Romanian tourist industry or the Romanian government or perhaps in combination to uh, 
uh, explain Romania in, in, a, in a more compelling way to, to America, uh, but perhaps other parts of the world as well. You know, if you look at some of the other countries, um, uh, neighbors and also other member states of the European Union, they some do a very, very good job in, in branding themselves and selling themselves uh, uh, to America. Ireland is one example, but there's also Great Britain, France, uh, Germany. Uh, I, I, and I just believe that Romania has, the, has a great potential uh, to uh, off, become an, an attractive destination for uh, American tourists. It, it already is, but I think the potential for, for greater understanding of Romania and America is, is certainly there. And because we hear this, uh, can you tell me, can you tell me when you drive in Bucharest, do you have a motor? I stay in traffic like everybody else. No motorcade. But, but when you when you went to, to the to Kotrochen Palace to the president with your accreditation letters, uh, did you use the the motorcycles and uh, something like this? Boy, I, now I really don't remember. I, I traveled from uh, the foreign ministry to Kotrochen. Yeah. Uh, were you there? Did, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't there. I don't believe so, but I, my, uh, I, I really don't recall. I was so nervous at the time okay. <laughs> and so honored uh, to be able to uh, meet the president so quickly and, and yeah. present my credentials. I, I wasn't paying attention. I so. ask you that because we, that is the, the only, the single uh, um, uh, situation when an ambassador <laughs> can use in Romania uh, the, ah, interesting, the, interesting. the whole escort. So it, it's, yeah. it's very possible uh, that uh, I, I receive the, the, the standard uh, escort from Foreign Ministry to Kotrocheni. Okay,